This is how you assemble your drift trike from Scooter X. You'll remove this top screw. Remove this top. Top back on. Put the screw back in. Now you'll take your bolts. Two bolts will go through the main. Two bolts will go on the outside, on the left, and on the right. No. Once you have your subframe connected, you're going to put your wheels on. When you put your wheels on, make sure your valve stems are on the outside. Keep the same on the other side. You put the top piece on, the handlebars on. Use the Allen wrench to tighten it, making sure it's aligned. Now when you put your front wheel on, these spacers have an edge that goes inside this hole. Make sure it goes inside that hole so your front wheel doesn't come off. Now you have your front wheel on, you can move to putting your seat on. In the kit that comes with the drift track, you have a bag, has four bolts, four washers, and four locking nuts. Take your seat. On the front, you'll take your washer and your bolt, and you'll slide it through. onto the mounting point of the drift trike. Make sure to put the locking nut on. Keep the same on the other side. Now on the back two, the nut goes on the top and the bolt goes on the bottom. Repeat the same on the other side.
slide your cable all the way up. You slide it through this hole right here. Making sure it only goes in with the side with the hole. And the cable sits down in it. You'll loosen this bolt. And on the right side of the bolt, you'll slide the cable through. Make sure to pull on it and tighten it down. Now that you have your front wheel on, you want to adjust your front tire. And when it's adjusted, make sure this top bolt is tight. And you'll tighten these two bolts in the back. Okay. Now to install your foot pegs, you may have to grind down because the powder coat makes it to where they don't fit on. Now you want to make sure these screws are really tight. Repeat the same thing on the other side. Before you start it, make sure your motor is full of oil. They take 10W30. Make sure you fill it with gas. It takes unleaded fuel only. Make sure this kill switch is on on and this kill switch is on on. Pull your choke on. Put your fuel on. Give it a couple pull starts. Start it right up. From factory. Okay. From factory, there is a top speed screw right here that makes it only go to 35 miles an hour. If you loosen this screw up, and pull it out. It'll go all the way up to 45 miles an hour. Okay. Now to adjust your throttle, you can turn out this screw right here and tighten it up and it will adjust your speed. Make sure it's not out too far or it'll take off when you start it because the throttle will be pulled in. Make sure your brakes work. If you have too much slack in your line, you can unscrew this and lock it down with this nut. If you lock, turn it out all the way and it still doesn't do enough, right here is a nut. You loosen that nut and tighten the Allen wrench in the center and it'll bring your brake pads together. Tighten it up the, the nut again and it should work just fine. And that's how you assemble your Scooter X drift trike.